Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Fallout 4. As you can see, the quest has completed from the last video. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't before, but I had to reload it and come back in here and then take them out again in order for the quest to progress. Uh, we still don't officially have Nick with us, but I'm guessing that's because the game story assigned him as a temporary companion. And that might have conflicted with the mod, multiple companions. So, oh, not a big deal, we'll figure that out later. Right now, we can go and witness the glorious arrival of the Brotherhood of Steel to the Commonwealth. Truly the, the best scene in the entire game. I'm thinking next time I go to town, I'll dress up as a Mr. Handy. If I pull that off, I'll be a legend. Absolutely. You're doing a pretty good elevator right now. So cool. No matter what time of day. Suppose it might look a little better during the day. We got the sun behind it and it flies across the sun. But it always looks good. Oh, that. let me show you how to get a uh, free suit of T-60 power armor from right over here at this trailer park. Generally, you would need a uh, master lock picking to get it, and I do have master lock okay, picking, boy? but there's a way to get it without having master lock picking. Very easy. The death claw? Pretty much. That's hey, death claw. Something's out there. What is it? Any pearls? They'd all be dead by now. It's all I, I suppose we should get it. Is he trapped in there? Put you in charge. Get your mouth. Ah. Come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. My brother. Kids are freaky. Sorry. This is only gonna end one way. Where? Where? Your wishes, your wishes, my strong recommendation. Oh, Zeta. <laughs> what the hell is this in the middle of the road? Hey, buddy. And I'll just take this. Okay. Back to what I was doing. Is 
this trailer right here. You would normally need a master lock to get in there. I can pick that. But, if you don't have master locking, just come over here and scooch down on this right here. And there's your armor. Not a full set this time, though. I would wait until you see it with a full set and then grab it. But all you have to do is interact with it and you get inside. And uh, the door will still be locked. So uh, you would just then, after you have the power armor, just uh, fast travel to wherever you want. Even right back here. It'll put you outside the trailer and you'll have the suit. Got me. Uh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> sorry, I just lost me. Get this. this end. That's good to know. Nice. Sweet. Excellent. And if the Brotherhood got it. Stopped down there and fought the super mutants as possible. Hey. One of the Brotherhood Knights may have uh, met his end, and you could get another dude off of him. Minus the frame. Where is he? Blue, we're not alone. Under Let's get this show on the road. Bugs. Thanks. You too. And I'll just take this. Yes. Doesn't look like they stopped though. Oh, maybe. Yep, they're here. So if the Brotherhood loses the fight, you can get some T60 parts off of the one of the knights. Gunner. Oh, it's a gunner chopper? Sunglasses are too much. All the stuff I was carrying, the game said nope. But they dug me. Where? Come here, hang on. Hey, hey over, over here. here. <laughs> no, stop moving. Oh, you son of a bitch. Drop that.
<laughs> Wait. How you doing, buddy? Heads up. One more thing. Where is it? There it is. There you go. Good boy. Drop the synth stuff. Unnecessary weight. This can be. I knew that was there. And I'll just take this. I just wanted to demonstrate how it is when you're not careful. Come to Mama. Bingo. Sweet. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go and drop the stuff off. I'm listening. I must say, this whole partner thing. Maybe it wasn't overrated. Let's take a look at what you've got. Did you get anything? What's mine is yours, pal. Um, no. Keep all that. Got something for me? No. Oh, nothing. Sure. Shoot. No. I think we're done for now. Suppose I'll head home then. No. <laughs> but if you decide you want to get in some more trouble, you know where to find me. <laughs> Come on. Hey what do you need? That was all I had. Okay. Uh. Alright, let me deal with this stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, we're all emptied out. And uh, I had two levels. So I put one in armor and one in uh, commando. So we got more damage with the rifles. And uh, I upgraded my armor. I have all heavy armor now. Heavy leather. There's a little tip. If you... I've never lost anyone before. This failure is you want to add uh, the maximum studded capability to your leather armor? The best way to do it oops, is to um, make sure that it's light armor. Because when you have it set to heavy armor, if you don't already have the mod, it won't let you create it. But if you have this set to light armor, 
it'll let you uh, put studding on it, and then you can turn it into heavy armor. So it's just a little bypass in the leveling crafting system there. That is, if you have the mods that'll let you do this in the first place. Okay, we have to go back and uh, talk to Nick again. We're going to have to go to Good Neighbor. Actually, I'm not sure that I even need to do this right now. Hmm. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. If you say so. Maybe... Maybe I don't have to do this right now. What else could we do then? We could do Ada's quest. Got a rocket launcher. Oh, Brotherhood, what? Alright, wait. Did I kill Brotherhood before? <laughs> we don't want that either. Friendly fire is unacceptable if you haven't already joined the faction. Every day is a fine day with you. Thank you, Cosmo. You might have to go and see Dan. Good with the bad, I guess. Did my guys shoot them? <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're gonna keep killing her over and over again. Hey, the Piper. Standing down. Get her done. Come here. Let me hand you something. Okay, hang on, we can't have this either. Uh, there we go. God, you just can't bring these people anywhere.
Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll go to the police station, join the Brotherhood of Steel. That should make my group yeah, I guess so. immune to persecution for friendly fire. At least for minor things, right? Let's test that theory. I'm listening. Things aren't so bad, are they? Not yeah. really, no. What are you doing here? I want to go there. Push the wrong button. Be right back. Okay, here we are. Having a dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. I had some help from our new friend. I've offered her a place on our team, but I'm not sure she's willing to accept. In the meantime, she's welcome to take shelter here, as long as she doesn't get in our way. Paladin. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. It's going to exclude us from the persecution of friendly fire. I hope. I, promise. I won't let you down. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Oh, I want to punch him so bad. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. That won't be a problem. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture, so I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Can't believe Maxon brought the Pridwin here. Those Ad Victorium. Must have been Why not just say to yeah. victory? Whatever it was it's, it's not like Ad Victorium is somehow sh a shorter way to say it. Which means it's just a different language, the same thing. So what's the point? <laughs> What are you thinking about? Glad you joined the Did I do something for these guys? That's the phone. I almost chased you away. <laughs> Why does he hate me? He doesn't hate you. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? When I first joined up, Reese is the one who sponsored me. He took me under his wing, showed me the ropes. I thought there was a little more between us, so... I asked him if he cared about me that way. 
He told me the Brotherhood of Steel was all that he cared about. And there was no room for anything else in his life. We never spoke about it again. Look, I... I need to get back to things. If you're worried about Reese, just keep doing what you're doing. He'll come around soon enough. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Uh... No, I, I need more time. That's all right. <laughs> I understand. Grab whatever you need and check back with me when you're ready. Yeah, well, maybe. Can we go and join the Pridwin now? Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Oh, sure. Let's go. Of course I am. <sighs> I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. Yes, and hopefully through presence alone. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance to is a wrong front runner. before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Yeah, I wanted uh, someone like Piper or Deacon to be the lead in the group How are you for doing? conversations nice because Codsworth is already maxed out. More paper cuts than back home. Can't imagine. Right. Hang on. Out of my way. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, out with it. What's your game? Uh, you know game? What do you mean? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you... You're different. And it's bugging the heck out of me. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? Because I hate you, and I want you to fall asleep so I can slit your throat. I want to help people. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? No. Alright, be right back. Okay, let's uh, go up to the Pridwin. See how many of these guys will actually follow us onto the to the chopper. How many how many companions can you fit on a vertebrate? Sounds good. That mini gun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. Oh, takes off with no one. Hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. Local smokels. They're oh, all muties anyway. The Commonwealth looks different from up here. I eat danger for breakfast. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Shit. I'm sorry. I... Sorry? Is that all? Oh my god! You're kidding, right? I can't see anything from up here. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. Sweet. They've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child in love is in mortal danger. Where are we being shot at from? Brotherhood? Oh, runner. 
Is that all? Nice. Answer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Can't really do anything in this gun without the pilot's cooperation. Oh, looks like we have a hero here. <laughs> Can't block on anything. Should be able to shift between guns on both sides of this thing. Let's get out of here. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Look, is that it? Time to put on a show. Yeah. What's he doing here? My pleasure. <laughs> Behemoth. You're welcome. Sir, permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit at your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Captain Kells? To victory! So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. You don't look much like a soldier to me. Well... Uh, maybe you're just looking at me through your Vulcan eyes there, Tuvok. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Codsworth made it. Dog meat. Yes. Anybody else on their way? Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Glad to be aboard. Oh, we lost dog meat. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the Commonwealth. 
there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. No the victory! When there's work to be done. Get on with it then. <laughs> Elder Maxon? Your orders were to speak to Lancer Captain Kells. I suggest you follow them to the letter. I'll go right now. I already did, didn't I? I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes... that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Elder Maxon? Take some time to familiarize yourself with the ship. Then meet me on the flight deck for your mission. Understood. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Very on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Thank you. How's it going? Carry food with you. You'll end up eating some. Pretty questionable things to say alive. Roger that. Excuse me, Proctor Quinlan. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxim and Paladin Dance. Uh... So how did it look out there? Paladin Dance. a lot of work there ahead of are. us, brother. How did it go with Elder Maxim? Maxon seems so young, compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon, sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. 
Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Let's go. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. So... You're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram. And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Grab this stuff. You need stuff. And I'll just take this. Oop, can't have the Hey. Soldier. Never mind. What's dealing? Put it right in the middle so you can accidentally take them by and then uh <laughs> cause yourself all kinds of problems. Nice. That's just wrong, man. It's set up. Oops. Hey Codsworth. Well, well, well. Hey there, Codsworth. Mine now. Uh, Bingo. Not even a. Oh, it's a Mark B. Level two. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility, but we'll get the job done. Roger that. Give it a flame job.
Tour Shop. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. Absolutely. Not sure. <laughs> T60 is okay, but it's, uh, I was a little disappointed because it's it just, uh, it looks like a, an upgraded T45. That's why I like the T51 better than the T60. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I look like a delivery boy. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. <laughs> You're the cat, dude. Give me a second. Okay. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? As long as it doesn't involve gloves. Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Anyway, okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay. I'm gonna have to take your stuff. You have that. Everyone, oh, he's Tegan. Can you tell Kells if he wants things fixed, he needs to keep the damn ship steady? That shouldn't Step be a problem. Knight. 
even though they've locked me in this blasted cage. I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Caps on the side, huh? Doesn't sound like official military business to me. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's complicated. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. <laughs> Strong arm the locals, eh? Alright, I guess we can get on with it. Outside. Tighten up the meter. That now split the difference there. Now half Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pregnant's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. But it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Nuclear arsenal? In the hands of those beasts? Heavens no! Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Gunships with you. I want Fort Strong clear to that stock. All right, I'm going. Hmm. Did not work. Oh. Ah, oh, it's, it's docking. <laughs>
Okay, so you get to this part in the story and you come out here and the vertebrate is not up there. Just save it, reload it, and it'll fly up and dock. Hey, Codsworth. Then you can continue. Maybe. We're gonna do another save. Try that. Quick save. Quick load. Come on. There we go. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green and we're cleared for release. <laughs> Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sight. Just trying to keep them in my sight. <laughs> Jeez, this guy won't die. My on the nukes another vertebrate throwing nukes it was insane There's a little loot over there. Not much. I always enjoy a good fight. There is one important thing to get over here. You can pick up these cannonballs if you want to use the uh, um, the portable cannon launcher you get from doing the ship quest. But the important thing, 
the teddy bears. You have to rescue all the teddy bears in the game. There's a key somewhere around here to open that. Oh, there it is. joke now. Sound like his heart was in that reading. How are you doing? Sounds like you're in a good mood. the thunk. And I'll just take this. Dead as can be. I 
Cliffs and Diamond City were fancy. Really? And I'll just take this. Nukes. Codsworth. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Is something wrong, Codsworth? Dance. Oh, that's right, Dad. Then we're gonna do. Sorry, Ada. Keep forgetting to do your quest. Hey Piper, you say something? No. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. Uh. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Well, there certainly isn't much left of whatever this was. This oh. is crazy. <laughs> Armor really screws up your dialogues. Always take your power arm off before you talk to anyone. Hey, 
they dance. Come on. Don't make me push you. Back to the Pridwin. Oh, there was another powerhouse at a uh, power armor frame with a couple of pieces. Right over here. Across the bridge. A little, little security outpost here. And there's a power armor frame in there. Sometimes it has XO1 stuff on it. I've never seen a complete suit though. But if you want another frame, you can get it right there. Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon? Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. So, what happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated, at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Elder Maxon? I'm too busy to speak right now. Some other time, maybe? <laughs> okay. Now. Next on the agenda. Sweet. I believe is uh, Ada. I think we're done with the Brotherhood for the moment.
down there again. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Sanctuary first anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eleven. Eleven people there now. Wonder why. Not a bad collection. Need another T60 to balance out our area here. I added a. Uh, hey boy. I added the Rising America mod with a bunch of Enclave stuff because I don't have the update because this is a modded version. And it seemed to have changed the textures on these, so I lost the star that was on this one. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, I gotta deal with loot. I'll be right back. Okay, um... It's been over an hour, so I think we're gonna call this one here. And... Next episode, we'll probably... Do Ada's quest. Finally get that moving a little bit. We can get her some more parts. Anyway, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for hanging out and watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.